or what does this say? I would catch her reading my comics from time to time. Still, couldn't tell if she liked them. Is that what this is? Oh, <laughs> uh, comment down below if you get the obvious reference. I love that obvious reference, by the way. Sometimes it didn't feel like my apartment anymore. There are too many things we don't see eye to eye anymore. I see something I agree with. Hey, now. Anyways, so this was our place. She moved in. We're not, again, it's, well, wait a minute. Does she have her own place then or? No, we're living together, right? But wait a minute. This is a two-bedroom, one-bath apartment with a nice view. I mean, look at this. I mean, we definitely, not a cheap apartment. I mean, what other apartment gets the view off into infinity? Anyways, actual story. Bath, bathroom. What are the, oh, those are hairpins. Oh, hold on, hold on. No more girly shower products. I would uh, accidentally use her soap sometimes. At least now, I wouldn't smell like flowers. True, I guess. Oh, nice. So the bathroom opens up both ways. Uh, is that a feminine product there? No. Okay, where's the, oh, here it is. Remote. Yeah, so no longer she's going to complain about me flipping through her channels. Before Manson moved in, I could never find the stupid remote. Now, I always knew where it is. Oh, and we lost the love. Sad, sad. By the way, she left her keys here, telling me that I wouldn't have to change the locks as if she was doing me a favor. Yep, happy, fun YouTube video uplifting to help your day i would catch a reading yeah, okay i read that one no more girly products all right here's a third picture unless this is a 401 she's always panicked when she lost her keys they are usually in plain sight is that it is there anything else ah there is a fourth object again if you notice the ones in here have four panels to them so as the story gets more complex there's more layers to it. Oh, she hated cooking, like trying out new recipes. I hated cleaning. She found dish found dishwashing therapeutic. Therapeutic. There we go. So is that what this is? After Madison moved in, she would help me cook dinner almost every night. I'd get her to chop the vegetables or store the sauces. You know, little things. Okay, so now we have all the pictures. Let's go see what part of the story we're at now. Is this where things start to fall apart? Okay, so we're watching TV. I paused the movie. Madison cocked her head perplexed. So, I was thinking. A dangerous pastime, if you ask me. Ha, ha, ha. I'm a man of danger. Anyways, your lease is ending, right? Why don't you move in with me? Madison, study the still image on the screen. I couldn't read her expression. We've been together for about a year. We are going on trips together. I love you. You love me. We're practically living together anyways. I even started using that fruity shampoo of yours. Yes, let's do it without complaining. Madison plucked the remote from my hand. But I'm not putting up with your mess. The mountains of dirty clothes have to stop. You unreasonable witch. That's where I keep my clothes. Anyways, <laughs> deal. Oh, cute. She paused, unpaused the movie. She leaned forward and kissed me. See, I organized your comics in a coated bin impressive frightening too so turn you'll learn to love it now if only i could get to love your cooking throws comment at me you'll love feeding me where did you put watchmen check the blue bins thanks try looking for before you ask for once I wouldn't have asked if you hadn't put everything away in bins. 
Well, they were unsightly. It's like a room of a teenager. You judging... <laughs> she was only half joking. Graphic novels aren't just for teenagers. They're getting a lot of recognition from critics. I know, I know. Okay, so we're back outside. We can go back really quickly to see where Jill's story ends, which is because apparently Jim didn't do anything. They always look so happy together. I wonder if Madison and I looked happy. They had grown comfortable, their roots intertwined. You're leaving me, he said. Who does, what does anyone know about love? She hadn't meant to fall in love. I can't even get close to the door. Okay, so that's a sign there. So now, the only one left, I believe, is the uh, old couple. Because there's our apartment, there's Jim's, that was uh, John Lou's, and now it's the old adorable couple. Hey, wait a minute, there's one more, I just noticed this right here. There's paintings. Oh, there's paintings. Like, there's Jim's. So Jim's is missing one. Lou's is not. So, did I forget something in Jim's. That's why the door didn't open? If I walk here, does it happen again? So that might be the issue. I might have forgotten something here in Jim's. That's why this picture's not there. Oh, I see. Same thing with uh, the rights. Is they only have one of two pictures filled. So, all right. Happy story. Happy story. Doesn't end with one of the couples killing each other. Happy story. Let's do this. Happy story. Happy story. Oh, Look at it. It's a nice little bug. William. I remember driving. And the sirens and our cabin. Oh, the Sierras. Our last honeymoon. I missed it. Our cabin stood here, right here. I cried for weeks. I painted for weeks. Happy, happy. But he came back and he loved me. It was all good. We went back again. It's just not a tree full of sad songs. Our tree froze. Like black vines under pale skin on our quiet hearts. I painted for weeks. Oh, right, I read that already. So this is backwards. Um, like, I can't read cursive backwards. Is it all the same? Like black... No, no, wait a minute. Like cracks on the bathroom mirror on our chapped lips. Oh, I see. There are uh, black veins on... Okay, okay. Then this one is like... Again, I can't read that backwards. Like my hair, when we last fought, when it was still black. Like eyeliner, smeared on my cheeks, splattered onto wet paint. His, it's the little things, William. The little things I miss now that you're gone. The water used to glow in spring the lake by the cabin we floated like ducks for hours oh and the midnight swimming you taught me how to fish here this was our place again i like this art style but it's awfully a little bit depressing did you have to leave i hadn't been alone in 60 years that one hit a bit closer to home for other reasons. You left. Why? Why did you leave me? William... J. Tipton. Time for the last story. 
and hold on, let me check. See, so was my theory right that this thing, yeah, so the four pictures there. Okay, all right, one more story, and it's going to be happy, damn it. Even though we know she left us. I used to be, this used to be my apartment. There, then it became ours. I'm not sure it will ever be mine again. Chinese takeout, sitcoms, happy days. She always ha hummed when she did the dishes. So this is a sweater. Madison hated it when I left clothing around. So we're at a little cafe being artsy. I mean, we're both artsy people, so. She always hummed the tune. Again, it's whistle while you work. Her idea of fancy cooking was pasta. Pasta and with a side of pasta. This strainer was her best friend in the kitchen. Oh, okay. And there's, oh, the salt and pepper shaker and one more thing out there. Oh, look at that. She thought these salt and pepper shakers were cute. They are. They were one of the first things we bought for our apartment. That doesn't look happy, but it is. She just sad that our pasta didn't turn out. Yeah, that's it. Just sad that the pasta didn't turn out as good as she thought it would. Oh, look at this moonlight. Look at the stars. Aren't we happy? Oh, look at the full moon. That's awfully close, actually. Full moon. Happy thoughts. Happy thoughts. Okay, so that's the last item there. Uh, oh, a coffee mug. She likes Starbucks. From our favorite coffee shop. I started displaying comics there recently. I even sold a couple prints. Oh, see? Happy. Happy thoughts. Yay, she's coming back. I don't have to jump off the edge. Anyways. Oh, wait a minute. There's one more story. Crap. Was there anything else? or? Oh, I'm still finding her bobby pins in the more... In the... Uh, the meeting, the more modern pins she used. Okay. So there's one more story after this. Maybe. Again, this is kind of an early alpha Kickstarter demo. So who knows what this really is right now. Okay, so we're eating dinner. We made a big deal out of Valentine's Day, but this year a silent agreement led to a special night we needed to ex needed an excuse a silent agreement led to a special night we need to be excuse to be romantic madison i'm trying it should be a silent argument right no i will madison had offered insisted on cooking she always found cooking tedious the candlelight cast shadows across her face as she ate she looked pretty her makeup that word and clothes carefully curtailed at times the shadow and the makeup turned her into someone unrecognizable as if a stranger sat in my girlfriend's chair it turned me on hey madison you look like a you know what she looked at me <laughs> and choked on her pasta at the sight of my spaghetti mustache we went out for hot chocolate after dinner. I wiped whipped cream off her nose, nose, and uh, kissed her cheek. She smiled. These look like paintings I see in my mother's room. Well, we can. Well, what can you expect from coffee house art? Coffee house art? Yeah, you know, art printed by retirees or hipsters who decide deceive what who decided they need to express themselves. No skills, no real ambition, just hobbyless hobbyists, really. I cleared my throat, then forced a weak laugh. I could feel the hot chocolate burning through my mug as my grip tightened. Your hobbyist boyfriend is hanging some panels here next week. Ha! Awkward. Okay, so 
all the happy stories. Here you go. <laughs> I'm going to kill myself. No, just no, no. Don't even joke about that. Anyway, stop with the moving, please. Oh, well. Anyways, again, this, as it says here, thank you for backing us. Looking forward to a release in early 2016. So this is a early, early concept of the game. Kind of an early demo, and I can't escape out of it now. There we go. How about that instead? So, anyways, I'll end the video here. So, don't feel too bad. Maybe they get back together. Maybe Jim leaves the apartment. The old lady learns to love again. Nailed it! Thank you, Danny Sexbang. <laughs> How the hell could I have been perfect timing? For those who don't know, that was a sound effect from Ninja Six Party's lead man, Danny Sexbang, also of the Game Grumps. What happened is, while me pushing buttons, I accidentally hit play on iTunes, and that happened to play. That was undoubtedly perfect timing. So, I can't do any better than that. Let's end the video there. Thanks again for watching, and see you next time.